Okay, sorry about that. I had to move some stuff. I had the camera kind of pointed at an odd angle. So you start the camera. Anyway, so this video is um, hopefully going to be part two of the two that I made today. Um, I made one. It went like 34 seconds over the time. But since I'm able to do the live videos and all that, I think I may have fixed it to where I can do videos over 15 minutes. Hopefully I did. If I did, then you'll be watching two videos. If you're not, if it didn't, then you're only going to be watching one. You know, that's how it works. Anyway, so if you did watch the first video or if I accidentally posted them backwards, which could very, very easily happen, um, then you know that this video is going to be about post-spawn, or not post-spawn, pre-spawn, to spawn lures. What I use for the post spawn into, why do I keep saying post spawn? Pre spawn, you know, before they spawn, pre meaning before, uh, so pre spawn into spawn. For some stupid reason, I cannot speak today. Um, now, two of these baits are kind of uh, wild card baits, so I'm going to set them over here. That way, I can pull them out at the end of the video. That way you guys can see some kind of wild card baits. So, first we're going to start off with pre-spawn. Now, I know you guys down in Florida and Texas are already having fish come up um, on beds and stuff, which is crazy, honestly. Because here in Illinois, um, the highest temperature of the week is like 48. So, yeah, you guys are already getting the fish spawning, so that's that's pretty cool for you guys. It's really cold for us here. <laughs> anyway, but for post-spawn, or not post-spawn, dang it, pre-spawn, what do I use? I use a lot of uh, shad or crawfish imitating baits. Um, number one would be a swim bait or a fluke. Now, I just picked up the mag fluke from my last video, and, you know, I would just talk about it anyway. Um, a fluke, no matter what size, um, the big ones, the little ones, or the medium ones, and a swim bait. Now, I wouldn't throw big swim baits like I was talking about in my last video. Um, I would just throw, I think this one here would probably be the maximum size I would throw. Um, something like this little dude, which is basically a miniature version of this one. Actually, it's exactly a miniature version of this one. Um, this one here is the 5.34 inch, uh, basically 5 and 3 quarter, if you couldn't understand that. Um, it's either five and three quarter or four and three quarter. No, it's four and three quarter. I remember. I'm stupid. Basically, a five inch swim bait with now a little two and a half inch swim bait. Very big differences. And just like in my last video, um, down in the description, I will have um, not links. Like I said in my last video, I'm not smart enough to do that. Um, I will have the names and colors. Of every bait except for a, except for like three because I don't know what brand or what color they are um, but yeah I'll tell you what those are but flukes and swim baits you don't have to use this big magnum fluke that's just something I already had and figured I'd go ahead and talk about it anyway something else that can work at both times of the year pre-spawn post-spawn and spawn is little Mr. Finesse Jig. Now you could throw the big jigs. I probably will. I'll probably throw the big one ounce jig as soon as I can. But this little jig right here, this is a Strike King. Um, I think it's called Bama Crawl. I want to say it's called Bama Crawl Color Finesse Jig with a little Arky um, Watermelon Red trailer on it. Now I will most likely switch the trailer off to a Rage Crawl just so it'll have a little bit more action. Or something like that. I don't know. Possibly a Rage Bug. Like a cut down version of a Rage Bug. But yeah. Let's hit the camera. Fix it. Alright. Anyway. Get back into this. Tubes. Tubes are something that will work really well during both the spawn, pre-spawn, and post-spawn. Now you could throw little miniature tubes like this. This is a young tube. Um, I don't know the color on this. And I don't know the model of this. Um, I actually just found these in a little little box for $2, and uh, I've actually already caught a fish on these, and I've only owned them for like three months, two months maybe. Um, 
But yeah, in December I actually caught a fish on these. Then these tubes here, these here are Trigger X um, pumpkin colored tubes. I don't think they make these anymore. I don't actually think that Trigger X is even a company anymore. I haven't seen their stuff in a long time. But you know, you can just use the Yum tubes, Strike King tubes, uh, whatever. I just already had these out. Next is a little crawfish on a shaky head. Now this is actually a Madman Baits um, pumpkin colored craw with a 3 8 ounce shaky head. You can also use Texas rig as well. But I rather use a shaky head just because a little bit better hookups when you're bed fishing um, or when you're uh, post spawn fishing or pre spawn. Then you got to throw the trusty old Cinco in there. You can whack your rig these. You can Texas rig them, whatever you want to do. You know, do what you do. I honestly fish them more weightless than anything if I even fish them. Next is something that I'm really eager to try out, and that is the Strike King Rage Tail Shell Cracker. It's basically a bluegill profile with two little um, tails on the ends with tremendous action. And I got this on a 6 aught owner weightless um, screw lock hook. Very big hook for a very good looking bait. Then a bait, I think this is the last one. Yep, last but definitely not least. Not last. Sorry. But um, the old drop shot. The drop shot works really well um, for both bedfish and not bedfish. Um, now this leader here is a little bit too long, but I, this is just a drop shot I grabbed. Got a little quarter ounce uh, round weight with a, a four aught flipping hook with a, a white trick worm. That's just what I'm going to throw on a drop shot. If you wonder why I use uh, random hooks on my drop shots, it's mainly because drop shot hooks, I hate the way drop shot hooks are made. Um, you know, the little circle hook kind of hooks. I don't like them. But these two here are going to be the wild cards. These are mainly going to be for uh, post-spawn, but you can use them during the spawn. And I've seen some people catch some monster bass using frogs, catching fish off of beds. And that is, I, I just said it, I didn't realize it, but a frog. Popping frogs or regular frogs. Um, this is a Spro uh, baby popping frog. And this one here is a Strike King sexy frog in green pumpkin um, white belly frog. So yeah. Hope you guys like this little short video, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.